All right, welcome back, everybody. I know on these hot days, a visit to the waterfront is the answer. And Mel, I know you discovered that yesterday, and we're going to see that soon on our show. But I understand today's story started out with a donut, and if it has the word mocha in it, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but Mocha has nothing to do with the drink. It's a really amazing organization uh, in Buffalo and they really help young people in Western New York. And so this is what I found out about them. It's a fantastic organization. Throughout Pride Month, the Mocha Center has been getting a whole lot of love from local businesses, not to mention part proceeds from these awesome pride donuts at Public Espresso going to support the centre and it got me thinking what is the Mocha Centre and how do they help young people in Western New York? Oh they smell good. The Mocha Centre is basically a non-profit drop-in centre that focuses on HIV prevention and reducing barriers to care for queer and trans people of colour. David Sell is a health educator at the Mocha Centre. I think from simply being involved in somebody's life from start to finish, especially in the Mocha Centre, we could definitely see a huge impact. A lot of times with our clients, they don't have like the actual support system that they need. So just being there to like support them, to guide them, to mentor them, to educate them, it really does go a long way. And the recent influx of support from the community? The Mocha Centre has been here for about 25, 26 years years and since me working here for about four to five years or so I've never really seen this level of like community support so it's a beautiful feeling just it feels if like we have allies that care about our mission and our purpose so I love it. The organization is one of only three of its kind across the entire state of New York. So back in undergrad when I was coming to terms with my own identity I really wanted to work with an organization that really cared and valued my community but a lot of times I feel as if I had to pick and choose either between like being like black or between being queer so when I first heard about the Mocha Center my my mouth just dropped open to actually find a center in Buffalo, New York that actually cared about grand trans people of color. So it just felt like a home that I always want to be a part of, but makes it so much more rewarding for me. It's just being in a position where I'm able to support and foster community, especially the youth, because honestly speaking, I never really had like that mentorship for somebody who looks and loves just like me growing up. So this means the world to give what I needed when I was a youth to youth right now. The center operates as a safe community space where youth can access health education resources resources, including free HIV testing, and also find mentorship. We typically offer programming from Monday through Thursday, really just to um, give people a better understanding of what it means to be like queer and trans. So just here at the Mocha Center, it truly is just a home for a lot of people who feel as if they never had a home and who have felt as if like, they never had their voices shared or heard or even respected before. Believe it or not, there is only four full-time staff members here, and on a daily basis, we can see between 10 to 20 youth. I honestly feel that community support goes a long way, because ideally speaking, it takes a village to raise a child. For now, though, the pandemic has forced the Mocha Centre to close its doors and move into the digital space. Even their annual Pride event is going online. We're taking different artworks, different performances from many different people from our community. So you're going to see a little bit of drag shows. You're going to see some spoken word performances. You're going to see some storytelling. You're going to see some advocacy. We really just want to show people that within our community, there's so many different shades to us and so many different skill sets, knowledges, and experiences. So our Stay At Home, Pride At Home event is going to be June 27th, Saturday. Check it out.